Free Smiles, episode 240, I think. All right. What is going on today? Oh. Well, it's a sign, guys. Wait, did they change these pictures? It looks a little different than I remember. Where was, where was that? just appeared and it's gone oh here it is yeah it looks a little different than like what it used to be right am i tripping i don't know it looks a little different it looks a little more like popping you know what i mean but anyways we're 100 percent free to play so we don't buy any packs at all so uh yeah it doesn't even matter but as far as like the fusion goes i'm doing pretty well let me actually check my event calendar so I can just check off everything. Okay, here we go. So, so far... I've done all of these so far. Uh, I did get this done. I did complete this. Okay, so there's where we're at right now. We got pretty much halfway, right? I could technically skip like four of these and just get this out of the way if I open all 10 of my sacred shards that I have at the moment. Or I could just do all these events. But like these events kind of suck because these dungeon divers, they don't really, I mean, you have like a short one and a half hour window or about an hour where these uh, do overlap, right? With the dungeons like Ice Golem and Fire Knight and this dungeon divers, right? For example, but I pretty much have to do three separate dungeon divers to complete this entire fusion event, which is crazy. Like usually it's like two but three and like they're overlapping you know what i mean but these are like all completely separate for each separate dungeon which sucks we are definitely going to be opening our sacred shards today because we have to um we have to do it in order to get the fusion pieces so fire knight just popped up we have champ training which i do probably have to do anyways um, I do want to build up that uh, new champion that I got recently. If you guys haven't checked it out, make sure to watch my last episode because it was uh, quite something special. But there's this new guy that I really, really want, guys. So I have a lot of voice shards saved up. Here's a dilemma. There's, there's a progressive summons event happening right now, right? At the moment, it's for... This is a, this is a lineup for today. Uh, tomorrow is going to be different. Um, but out of all the... I guess Ancient Shards, Sacred Shards, and uh, Primal Shards. The only one that I'm really, really interested in, or the most interested in, is this guy. This guy is special, man. Like, he's basically... He's basically a Duchess. Like, he's different. But, um... A double hitter, just like Duchess on day one, except it's not a shield for himself. It's a place of freeze. Um, I would say he's more... He's gonna be really, really good in, like, plays like Hydra Boss. Places where he can protect your champions, give more damage, and boss and whatnot but like very very similar kit to duchess but slightly different now he can put out four buffs for your entire team in one go so as long as like i mean if you're opening it says uh yeah give accuracy and increase defense to for all allies that are uh these buffs will be placed even if no allies are by so pretty much that's gonna happen all the time but the point is if you wanted to get an extra turn which is the end part of his ability here you would have him open with this right so you're not reviving anybody, you're just opening with this to give everybody increased accuracy and increased defense for three turns. And then you go into this, which is place perfect veil on all your allies except the champion for two turns. And an increased attack, which is again very similar to Duchess. But he also grants a 15% turn meter boost, which is extra, right? It's, it's a better version of what Duchess is, does for the A2 at least, basically. But, well I guess, well the downside is he doesn't give uh, immunity, so I guess... I wouldn't say it's a better version, right? It's a different version of the similar ability. But um, I get the passive is also a bit different. Instead of giving the extra protection for the champions that are under Perfect Veil, what he does is he'll give additional damage for the champions under Perfect Veil. So it's a little different, but very similar and pretty much the same aura here. So yeah, I mean, this guy is really, really cool. Um, I would definitely like to pull him. He's the most interesting one to me anyways. But as far as the voice shards goes, I mean, Cardio's nice. Um, this guy's pretty interesting as well, I guess. Falconin. But um, they're doing a progressive summons for Necrit as well. Which is, as you guys know, 
my most wanted champion has always been Necrit. And a 15x chance to get him? I mean, if I was super close to Mercy, I would say, yeah, I'm definitely going to go for him. But right now, I think I'm like maybe like 60, 70 voice shards in. So I'm not so sure if that's the best route to go. Considering there's so many voice shards or void champions that I can really, really be happy with as far as legendaries go. So maybe I'll just save for like another a voice shard 2x event. Maybe that's the best approach, right? So with that being said, let's just get right to it, guys. We have 10 voice, 10 sacred shards here, excuse me. And like I said, I do want to go for this guy, and I don't really care for these, I guess. Wait a minute. Is this one that I don't have yet? No, I already have him. Ah, this is the one I need, guys. Why couldn't it have been this? Right? It's that one, right? Just making sure. Uh, yeah, it's a different one. So, here we go, guys. Clarium, please bless this account. Um, it was great pulling uh, what I got the last episode, right? But if I could pull this guy. So, am I a magician? Am I really? Let's just call it again. Let me call what I'm going to get, alright? So, I would love to get Glacian, whatever his name is. Glaciad. 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 I don't know how to say his name. Sorry. Um, I would like to get this guy. Uh, another wish list would be like Duchess. Pretty much the same thing, but I don't have. Um, oh, one that I really, really want is also Mishinaki. He's another one that I would really like. So off the top of my head, those are the three. Um, anything else? I'm I'm not really sure what I'm. Yeah, I'm not really sure what else I would want, but those are three at the top of my wish list. I guess I could think of. So here we go, Clarium. Make it happen. Can we get off a of first shard legendary again? No, we cannot. And my volume is not on right now, so let me turn it on. Okay, Call Brawl is pretty cool. He does do a lot of poisons. Still great for, um, you know, a poisoner. If, I mean, you don't even need to book this guy, right? That's how, that's how great he is for, uh, what's it called? Clan boss. Really, really great there. Um, even utilized for uh, Faction Wars. Really solid there, too. I guess the boss particularly, because he puts out a lot of poison. Um, continuing. Come on, Plarium. Hook us up. Okay, we got another epic champion here. Rockbreaker. Oh, if I could get the... If I get one of those fusions out of the way, then I would completely skip uh, just four events straight up, right? So that would be cool too. One of these. That would be nice. Alright, so the thing is, I need to pull five in order to get to this right here. Well, five plus, I guess... Some mystery shards, 200 more mystery shards, and I get to here because each sacred that I pop is going to be 500 points. It works a little differently than frat, uh, Champ Chase, whereas Champ Chase is based off of the type of champion you get. Summon Rush is based off of the shard you're pulling, right? So keep that in mind, guys. So I need to pull basically five. That's about it. That's if I want to just stop at the, um, the rare. Okay, another epic here. Okay, Zelata, alright. I mean, I, I guess I understand if I'm paying a bit of tax for my last pull session that I had because it was crazy, but... Alright, but I would love to pull Legendary. Come on. Come on, this is the last one. Last chance. I pro I'm probably going to stop here, to be honest. Come on. <laughs> do I do one more? I mean, technically I need 200 more points, right? Technically, so I could pull one more. Man, I would really like to pull this guy. This guy's really dope. Or I could just save my sacred shards going forward. What do I what do I get for 500 more points? Is it worth it? I know I'm talking myself into it. Uh, so I get a 5 star chicken. Alright, fine. We'll do it. Alright, so last sacred shards. Here we go. Last chance. Last opportunity. Come on. Plarium. Legendary. No! We couldn't make it happen, guys. But we tried. We did try. Ah. I really want this guy, but I gotta be smart. As a hundred percent free to play, like I, I, I need to be smart and save these for any future events that I might potentially, you know, have to go for. But yeah, I think we'll probably just stop there. Well, I might be enticed based off of what I get here off of my sick. Okay, we'll get another boy shard, which is cool. If I get another sacred shard here, maybe. No, no, no. Oh, that's pretty good. I could still get a secret shot here as well. And no. Alright, it's a sign for me to stop pulling. I know you, you guys probably want me to pull more, but I, I gotta control myself, okay? This applies to you too. Control yourselves, guys. Just don't overdo it. 
don't uh don't fall into temptation all right let's collect the rest of this real quick all trash and i'll just hit this up too Okay. As far as my Hydra boss goes, I did get max chest here, and I think I think we got second place with this. <clears throat> Ogren tribe, eh? And oh, oh, okay. I mean that's that's really nice, right? Really, really had potential there, and a bunch of five stars that I don't care for, so I'll sell those later. Another one there, HP percentage. Okay, speed. Oh no, I double clicked. HP percentage again. Okay, all right. I kind of want to roll that because there is an artifact enhancement taking place right now, so I could take advantage of that. All right, so we got this out of the way, which is good. And as soon as uh, as soon as I stop the recording, I'm probably gonna have to just dive right into the dungeon divers. And was it Fire Knight? Yeah, so we can get that out of the way. And champ training. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do the rest of the events. Like the thing that sucks is every time we go into these dungeon divers events. Like, in the past, I would always save up my energy ahead of time, where I can just, like, for a couple weeks, I could save up ahead of time, have, like, 2,000 energy ready to go, and I could just use it all on the Dungeon Divers then for other type of fusion events. So, I wouldn't have to dip into my gems as much, but with this current fusion events, there's three Dungeon Divers, and at the end of every, um, so, like, Dungeon Divers plus particular dungeon right so let's just say dungeon divers plus ice golem i finished the ice golem event i still have dungeon divers running but i still have like 2000 points left to go so like i'm always i'm always dipping a ton into my gem count to get the rest of it done which kind of lame because it wasn't like that in the past but it is what it is i guess so yeah all right so we gotta do that uh, artifact enhancement i do want to level up some of those gear right off the bat <clears throat> excuse me Let's roll this too. So we can get a triple and potentially uh ore for speed. Nope. It's gonna be a sell for me. Okay, don't know what the rest of those are. Sell those later. Uh I guess I'll take a look at this. Alright, I'll continue. Alright, maybe the last one will be a crit damage. I mean speed would have been nice here, but oof. That is a yikes. Hmm. It's pretty juicy, but... Alright, where's the one I saw? This one. Okay, here we go, guys. Do I just go... No, 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 no. I, I, gotta, I gotta be conservative. We'll start with this. Okay, I mean... It could still... It's still really, really solid. I mean... I Yeah, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Alright, what else do we have? Um, anything that popped out. I do want to land speed in some of these, though. Like a quad speed on another piece. No, nothing there. All right, so I'll just show for now. I keep going into this one for some reason. All right. Um, okay, I need to get that out of the way. So, uh, champ training... There's just not enough energy to go around, so I might have to just dip into my bruise here, right? And... Okay, I don't want to spoil what I got on last episode, in case you guys haven't checked that out. Again, make sure to check it out, guys, alright? And I do want to use up all these while I can. <clears throat> I wonder if there's any uh, NBA fans here. Does, do any of you guys keep up with the NBA? I'm a huge NBA fan. Or, uh, particularly Miami Heat, of course, from uh, Miami, so, oh god. 
but yeah, I mean, we got bounced um, pretty early because we were all injured. Um, as always, we're always injured. But this playoffs is really, really interesting. Like, I like how there's so many new teams. There's new, like, young teams available, and they're just, they're doing really well, right? Like, Oklahoma, uh, Minnesota, um, I mean, Boston's always going to be there. They're still young. They're still really good. But I, I know, like, Boston's favorite to win the championships this year. But for some reason, I'm just like, I, I don't know what it is, but... I'm like, I'm really feeling Dallas, even though Luka Doncic is injured right now. I'm really, uh, I mean, Denver is always going to be there. I can't bet against Denver. I don't know. I just, I don't believe in Boston. That's, that's the bottom line. Because they haven't proven anything to me yet. They haven't shown that they're clutch in the playoffs. They'll, eat, they'll always like blow a team out or they'll get blown out or something. You know, they'll just, they won't show up in the clutch moments. So they haven't really proven much to me yet. So for me to believe them. And their path to the finals is just too easy. It's way too easy. So I just, yeah, I don't, I don't believe in them to win the championships, and I don't want them to win because I don't, I don't like Boston to be honest. <laughs> I, I don't want, I don't want New York or Boston to win. Uh, call me a hater, I don't know. I just, it's just, it's just like that rivalry with, uh, with Miami. You know, it's just I don't like Boston and New York, I, like the team, not, not the cities, like not the, not the states. I like New York City. I like New York. I don't like the teams. Yeah. But uh yeah, I, I any team that goes to come out of the West, I'll just root for them to beat Boston. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um what else do we need to do here? Champ training. I'm already working on those. I guess I'll get this out of the way a little bit. Um, I should probably level those up a little bit first. Okay, we'll throw one brew into this and then pop it. All right. Um, hmm. I guess this was go ahead and do this. So I am going to be working on a new Fire Knight team. Like I said, I'm still not doing hard stage Fire Knight. I still have this uh, very old school style team, I guess you could say, with Seer blowing up and whatnot. But my new team will definitely consist of at least two nudes, right? But uh, it should be fun. I, I definitely, I definitely think I have the team to do it now. So. Um, I won't have much use for my Allure anymore. Oh, no, no, that's not true. She's still really good in Doom Tower against Dark Fae. Um, cardio. Where do I use Cardio? Hmm. I guess I could re I could finally rebuild my Cardio, because right now he's still built with damage. That's how I've always had my Cardio built. Um, he's built in Savage Gear. You might ask why. Well, back then, when I... When I he was one of my... He was my first ever Voice Shard... Uh, legendary pull. He was actually the second voice shard I popped and I got a cardio. Go back and check that out if you want to see the earlier episodes. It was crazy. But um, early on, I built him in Savage Set so I can get past, uh, I think it was Nightmare. Yeah, it, it helped me get past Nightmare. And then um, eventually into Ultra Nightmare, I still needed him in uh, the Savage Set so I can put out some damage. And it worked out. So I kind of had just had, had him built that way. You know ever since but it might finally be time to rebuild my cardio in like a proper way so because a lot of people see my card and they're like why do you haven't built like that what are you doing like i know i know but you know i'm just using him like where i need him you know so we'll see we'll see how i build him now maybe like more arena focused or hmm actually maybe hydro boss focus because i don't really use him in Hy hydro boss much i don't think Hmm. Or actually, I do. Oh, I do. I do. He's on my 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 brutal team that I'm gonna have to rebuild also. But again, he's not properly built. But yeah, this is a team I've been running for Fire Knight for a really long time now. But um, it's time to finally work on a new hard team because I have all the hard stages done. I got Spider Hard team. I got a uh, Dragon Hard team. I have a Ice Golem Hard team. 
but I still don't have a Fire Knight hard team. So that'll be next in line for me to work on. And any other progressions I need to work on, it would probably be Phantom Shogun, because I still haven't really like done much with this. Um, Sand Devils Necropolis, I'm doing pretty well here. Um, I was going to put out a video for this like a long time ago, but just time just went by so much. And like, I, I don't know if you guys would be interested in me putting out the team for this, but I don't know. Maybe I'll still do it. But that pretty much covers uh, most of the things that's been happening on my account so far. Um, anything else that I've been working on? I guess Cursed City is another one that I need to, I don't know, get done, I guess. But uh, or Live Arena, geez, that is another one I've been just completely slacking off on. Like, I've been completely ignoring Live Arena for the past year or something like that. So, uh, I know there was a comment that recently asked me, like, how's your Live Arena going? Well... Not not that great, man, to be honest with you. Like, as you can see, <laughs> like, not even touched. Pretty much, uh, no, no, uh, showing no love to this at all. So that's something else I need to work on as well. And, uh, Arena, I'm still trying to do. But, uh, yeah, there you have it, guys. I'm just, uh, I'm not really going hard and, like, going super crazy with, um, being the most efficient at everything. Um, like, to some degree I am, but not, like, at, with everything, obviously. But I don't know. I play I play this account because it's really fun. Like I don't really enjoy playing my I don't know super Kraken account or um, whale accounts or whatever you want to call it anymore. Like it's just not as fun to me. Like I just for some reason just free to play is just more enjoyable because when I do actually accomplish something, it just feels very satisfying. You know, it's it's really hard to explain until you actually try it yourself. But I don't know. And that on top of that, I'm also like I'm not spending. You know. Like for this account, it's just it's different. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, some of you guys probably do have a free to play account. Maybe you guys have alternate accounts, uh, alter alt accounts that you guys um, just really enjoy more because it's more fresh. You know what I mean? But yeah, that pretty much covers uh, this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed my channel, if you guys enjoyed my content, this video, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to drop a like on this video and drop a comment down below. I don't know how many of you guys have a alt accounts you guys enjoy playing more than your main account there's a question of the day so thank you so much for watching once again and i'll see you all in the next video